Yay! I'm back on? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me... Hello! Uh, <laughs> if anyone... Sorry that, about that. Uh, <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> um, so anyone that was joining us, please, 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 I wish I could just uh, reach out to everybody in the... I was about to say reach out and touch face. I you can't. Like, you can't. <laughs> Not right now. I can't do that. No. I can't do that. No one can do that. No. Um, yeah, so everybody, uh, by accident, uh, we got cut off. Uh, but that's okay. Um, and Angela Morris uh, Windmill says, I um, love the complex geometry and bright colors coming through the new work. Thanks. Um, Thanks, Angela. Yes, thank you. I, I agree. And you guys should check her work out too. It's beautiful. There are skulls. They are gorgeous colors. Um, oh, cool. Another artist. So, um, you want to hold up the piece that uh, everyone can enter to win? Yeah. So, this is where it's, it's at it's now. It's in progress. Yeah, it's in progress. And once it dries, I'll go back and I'll I'll look at it and sort of play around with uh, play around with the colors and and add some and subtract some. And uh, and then I'll move on to doing the transfer part of it. And then what are you transferring? Just to remind everybody, our audience. Uh, it's a Chanel piece. It's a Chanel bottle in pieces. So cool. um, and that I mean that's been a huge seller for basically forever. You know? <laughs> I mean it comes from Warhol, right? It's uh, he started yeah. it. Um, many of us, I'm sure anyone that makes pop art would would tell you that. He's, you know, their biggest influence. Um, but thanks, Louie. The, the surf piece. Yeah, I like that, it's, you know. It's pretty dope. Thanks. Yeah, surf culture is so interesting. Um, how radical that was um, for our country. Yeah. And then even going further into, like, the uh, drag racing culture. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was just exciting and different. It was its own sort of living, breathing thing that um, yeah. not everyone could be into, you know? I think with the internet today, you can kind of, well, you can be in California, someone can be in Argentina, you know, like it's, it, it doesn't so cool. matter um, where you are, but back then, like you had to live in close proximity to be a part of that, mm -hmm. you know? Um, so yeah. It looks like everyone's rejoining. I'm so happy. Um, Good. Thanks yeah. so much, everybody. Sorry about uh, that. I it's will okay. not touch it my happens. phone. <laughs> we did we did pretty good for a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know. This this um, technology thing, I don't know. <laughs> uh, the lighting is great in your studio, nice. um, and it, I'm, it's been really amazing just to have the full screen instead of the split screen. Um, we have yeah. another question um, from Angela. Uh, do you do your transfers with a transfer medium gel or a more manu manufactured method? Um, hope not to. Hope not offend. No, it's not offensive at all. Um, I basically just use um, two layers of Nova Gel, which is the equivalent of uh, Golden Regular Gel Gloss, or um, there's a Liquitex that's similar to that. Um, I use the gloss. It seems to be much. I guess the uh, the matte sort of cracks apart. Um, oh, I found yeah. that this has a little bit of give in it. Uh, and I'll just put this in water and saturate the paper and then paper just sort of peels off and the imagery is left on the dried gel. And then I can glue that down. Also Golden, um, sponsor Robert Mars, uh, just a quick little, <laughs> little uh, plug there. Uh, if you're listening, Golden, uh, uh, Robert would love to be sponsored. Uh, <laughs> I'll wear your shirts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right. Um, and so uh, AMC uh, Millen uh, asks, would you hold the piece up again? I'm curious about the overall pattern. For so, sure. Okay, so the pattern is based on uh, a quilt called uh, Winding Ways. So as I'm looking at it right now, like I see there's not as much uh, contrast in here. So I'll probably go back in and, and play around with that a little bit. But I'll wait for it to So dry. you meet the so the pieces are pre cut so that you uh, it creates that the weird like layers of circles and the, and they yeah. have a meet in different areas. Yeah, and that's why I really love this pattern is because it's so uh, it's so visually 
sort of stunning, right? Like you, you can see this circle right here. Um, There's so many things going on. Yeah, and it's just the way that it's interwoven, like it's really, there's really a lot that you can do with it. For sure. Wow. Yeah. Well, um, and just to remind everybody, the piece that Robert was just holding up, you can enter to win. It's in progress. Uh, he'll be working on it throughout his exhibition, Artifacts, which is on view uh, virtually with Arena Galleries, uh, who I'm a part of. Um, and uh, you can find more information on our most recent post on how to enter to win the piece. And it will be featuring a Chanel transfer. And then uh, what is uh, the next one is the 23rd, correct? Yes, May 23rd, okay. same time. And we'll make sure that Robert does not pick up his phone. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, carefully pick up his phone. Yeah. I've done that too plenty of times. But I mean, we're all getting used to the weird nuances of like technology, even yeah. if we've been around it for a long time. Yeah. Um, we're just getting to know it much better. It's really weird. Yeah. Um, but yes, May 23rd, May 23rd. Uh, Saturday, May 23rd at 1 p.m. PSD, so that's 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, we're going to be going into uh, the iconography and the um, the celebrities and the and the portraiture, essentially, that, that Robert chooses. Exactly. And why. And why, um, yeah. Yeah, both these processes are so, um, um, pun intended, layered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're quilting the foundations and the work, all that all began, and then the people that you choose to feature, which are musicians, celebrities, mainly from between fifties and seventies, right? Yes. Um, kind of, kind of, kind of goes out. It kind of goes out. That's a, doesn't give it really justice. So I guess maybe just to encompass it all, just from the late forties and fifties up until now. Yeah, I think what happens is that that story expands, right? There's something before, and then there will be something after. So. Um, you know, people have said, like, well, who who today, right? I mean, if you had to pick, uh, like, four people today, um, and the first one that comes to mind is Lady Gaga, you know? I mean, she's totally. so talented. Um, she can sing. She can act. She can write. Um, she can play. She just does everything, you know? And she's, So many hats. So many hats. And she's she's been accepted into all these different... Um, all these different genres like uh fashion right she hangs out with donatelle versace and you know when you look at art she hangs out with um marina abramovich like right. you know she's she's like engrossed in all creative things um and i think that that's that's one of the things like transcending right like transcending just what you know because most kids probably say oh lady gaga she's like a singer you know, but she's transcended from that. And that's why I think she'll be an icon. You know, I think Brad Pitt, when you look back at the movies he's done, he's a fantastic actor, you know, and he's pretty, right? Like, mm -hmm. that's one of the things, like, it's looks, it's what's inside, it's the ability to connect with people. Um, so I think... That's the kind of success that we want to see in, like, the avant-garde, right? Mm -hmm. You know, like, we want that cross-disciplinary, like, kind of doesn't have to it can be anything uh mm -hmm. like how lady gaga has found success in anything as well as even though brad pitt is kind of under one one umbrella which is like theater I theater guess. Yeah. yeah but yeah but yeah. lady gaga really gives like uh an insight to what we've all like the thing that we all want art to do yeah you know? i mean she's a renaissance woman right she does mm -hmm. it all so uh, we have one more question here uh have you done Elton John or a young Elton John? And also, side note, Louis, uh, thank you for that clarification. We actually reached a one-hour limit, and that's oh, why it cut off. Okay. It just simultaneously happened when Robert I was know. putting his phone back. Thank God, I'm <laughs> off the hook. I'm off the hook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good to know. Thank you, Louis. Uh, and Angela, um, your question, uh, so have you done Elton John? Uh, I have not. Um, you know, a lot of times what happens is someone will come with a commission, and ask for something specific. Like I just finished up that Madonna piece. I've done Madonna before, but this one was very specific to an era of Madonna, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So I, you know, I kind of love that challenge of someone saying, hey, can you do X, you know? And if it's, if it fits within the category, if it fits within an icon, which Elton John does, like I would always mm -hmm. do something, you know? Yeah, and uh, just to let everyone know, um, to 
you know, bounce off of that. Robert um, does commissions. Um, and if you're interested in doing a commission with him, uh, whatever, you know, within the sizes that he works with, um, you can connect with an art consultant on a website right now uh, at arenagalleries.com. Um, what sizes do you know? So you work with the 24 by 18, and then uh, what kind of, where do you go up from there? Um, I just uh, posted one that I did a couple months ago that was six foot by six foot. That's, Whoa! That's the limit. They fit, it literally fit <laughs> up the stairway into my studio, like not even with an inch. It was like perfect. <laughs> I was like, that's, all right. That's a great range. Okay, so everybody, yeah. if you heard that, yeah, twenty-four by eighteen to six foot by six, six foot, foot. Yeah, I mean, commissions people, of icons, we got you. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I think people really tend to go towards uh, like forty by sixty is a popular size. For um, sure, yeah. Forty-eight by forty-eight. Um, those those seem to be what I've done a lot of um, in the past and even now. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Robert. It's thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Um, and uh, we are looking forward to May 23rd. Um, and so just to give a little recap, um, our uh, Robert show is on view right now, uh, Artifacts, um, at arenagalleries.com. And you can connect with an ARCA consultant to acquire and or peruse and see other works and connect with Robert on a p potential commission that you'd like to do. Um, and don't forget to enter the contest that ends May 31st, which is the last day of Robert's show. Um, it's the piece in front of him that he'll be working on uh, in our live demos. Um, so he created the, the base foundation today uh, through his quilting process. Um, and um, we are looking forward to seeing uh, the Chanel piece being transfer transferred. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, check out the last post, follow us, follow Rob, and please, please, please come join us May 23rd. Um, and Melissa has put in our uh, URL, arenagalleries.com. Thank you so much, Melissa. And thank you, everybody. Yeah, thank, you so much thank for everyone questions. for coming. For that your, was great. Your, your participation. Have a great Saturday evening. Yeah, thank you, Rob. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs>